Let's talk about erythromyalgia. So this is a painful syndrome that can be idiopathic or can be inherited or can be secondary to myeloproliferative or autoimmune disease. The inherited form is a autosomal dominant mutation, so there can be a family history, and it's due to a mutation on SCN9A on chromosome 2 and this makes the dorsal root ganglia hyperexcitable. SCN9A is a voltage-gated sodium channel. So the onset is typically between the 40s and 60s and it's more common in women. So the clinical features of this disease are important because this is a clinical diagnosis and it's characterized by recurrent episodes that are precipitated by heat or exercise. The distal extremities are affected, with the feet being the most common location about 90% of the time, and the hands being affected about a quarter of the time. So the distal extremities become hot and painful and violaceous, and that lasts for minutes to hours. The patients may try to cool themselves by putting their feet in front of a fan or by submerging it in cold water. And importantly, the patients are asymptomatic between episodes. So for diagnosis, it is a clinical diagnosis. The skin biopsy is not specific. When you suspect the diagnosis, send a complete blood count, and that's to look for myeloproliferative disorders. Uh, polycythemia vera is specifically something that can cause the disease. You'll also want to screen for autoimmune diseases such as lupus. For treatment, you'll want to treat the underlying myeloproliferative or autoimmune disorder. Also avoid provoking factors such as avoid going into hot environments. Also uh, avoiding exercise while maintaining a normal lifestyle. And when attacks happen, there can be cooling measures that you can implement during attacks such as submerging the hands or feet in cold water. Medications that you can use during attacks include aspirin. And this is a special one and it's especially f helpful for myeloproliferative disorder. Otherwise, topical lidocaine can be used, if, especially if it's a small area that's a affected. And other medications that can work include gabapentin, pergabalin, and venlafaxine. So the prognosis is variable. Some patients about a third improve, a third are stable, and a third can get worse. This disease does seem to uh, have a reduced lifespan.